and welcome to High School Physics Explained and my name is Paul and today I want to go through how an electroscope works and to have you a bit of an understanding of how conservation of charge plays a part in how it works. So what I have here is a perspex rod and a piece of silk and a perspex rod and a piece of silk when in contact with each other will cause some electrons to be transferred from one substance to the other. Namely, some electrons are taken from the perspex onto the silk. And if I were to rub it a little bit more vigorously, I would cause more electrons to be transferred from the perspex onto the silk. We have conservation of charge. We haven't lost any electrons. They've just been transferred from the perspex onto the rod. But how do I know this is positively charged? Well, that's just where, where the electroscope comes into play. So if I rub this like so, and then place it over the electroscope, you can see the needle starts to move away. If I take the perspex rod away, what happens, of course, is the needle returns back to normal. But why is this so? Well, when I bring this perspex rod close to the metal plate, and this is connected here uh, with a, a metal connections over here, is that as I bring the perspex rod close to this, the electrons in the metal, they are conductors, will start to be attracted towards the top of the plate. In other words, if I bring this closely like this, the top of the plate becomes slightly negative as the electrons are attracted to the positive perspex up here. Of course, now that means I have slightly less electrons down the bottom and I have two bits of metal, one that is balanced very sensitively and one that is fixed. And what happens, of course, is both become slightly positively charged. Because they're both slightly positively charged, they will repel. But as soon as I take the rod away, of course, the electrons that were attracted to the top of the plate now return back to their original position. They spread out evenly over the metal, and of course, it returns back to normal. But what if I want to have this needle stay fixed? Well, one way I can do that is I can attach this with this perspex rod. Why? And let's see how that works. I charge it up, I bring it close, it deflects, I now touch it and just make some contact like so and then move it away and it stays in the repel position. What I've done is I've actually removed some electrons from the electroscope and they've moved onto the positive charged perspex rod over here. And now, of course, this is overall get a slightly positive charge and the two pieces of metal stay repelled. What if I touch it? Well, my body is connected to the ground. And of course, if I touch it, some electrons from the ground through my body will neutralize this. And so we will get our electrons back. I touch this and the needle returns back to normal. And so now I've demonstrated both how an electroscope works and obviously the strength of the charge that I've here will determine how far the needle mood deflects, but I can charge it by contacting it. In both cases, we have conservation of charge. Mainly, we are not losing electrons, we're not losing positive charge, they're just simply being transferred from one substance to another and that is conservation of charge. I hope that's helped you understand how an electroscope works. Uh, please like and share and subscribe. And if you really value these videos, uh, consider um, uh, joining up and supporting me via Patreon. That allows me to uh, buy more equipment and uh, maybe some extra resources to demonstrate something more technical with the right equipment. In any case, my name is Paul from High School Physics Explained. Bye for now.